Hi, in this video we're going to be showing you a free CD burning and ripping software program you could use called AnyBurn. So it does all kinds of stuff. Uh, like I said, it's free. They do have a pro version which has a couple more features. So if you go to their website you can see that the free version does everything except convert audio file formats and install Windows to a USB uh, drive which you could you know, use Rufus for that type of thing if you need to do so. Alright, so when you open the app you have all of your uh, options here. So if you want to burn an image file to a disk, let's say you have like an ISO file, you know, with a operating system on it, that kind of thing. Erase a rewritable disk. If you're using rewritable disk, copy one disk to another. Then you have the rip option here. So I have a music CD in the drive. So it's reading it right now. Like so, then you can pick the tracks you want. Click on next, and you have your options for what type of uh, output format, and you can configure it, and you have the quality for MP3s, that type of thing. Uh, and you have your RIP folder, then your format for how you want to uh, have the song files created. Then just click on RIP now, and it'll uh, convert the uh, music from your CD into MP3 files or whatever other type you pick from the list there. So let's go back to the start page. Then you could also create image files from files or folders. So if you need to create like some kind of, you know, ISO file or something like that from a bunch of folders, you could do that. You could browse or extract image files. So I have this ISO file here. So let's open that up. Then you could extract whatever files you want from this image file here. So that's a nice feature. Uh, view drive or disk information. So if I want to view the information about this drive here, it tells me all about it, the read speed and write speed. If I wanted to view the disk information, I could do that as well. And here's the one option that you can't do with the free version. Uh, and you could burn files to a disk. So this disk is already finalized, so I can't add more because it's not a uh, rewritable disk. But this is how you would burn just a regular CD with you know files, that type of thing. And it gives you how much space you could use, the CD size, and you just kind of drag and drop or add or remove from the list here. And you pick your drive from here if you have more than one. Then you could copy a disk image to file here. So if you had a disk, uh, you could create an image file from it, such as a binq file. Then you could burn an audio CD from MP3, so you just drag your mp3s into here and then create an actual audio CD. You know, like a regular music CD it wouldn't be an mp3 CD, it'd be a music CD. Uh, convert audio format. That's one of the pro versions there. Convert image file format. So let's say you had a image file here and you wanted to change it into a binq file or a DAA file, you could do that. Add the password if you wanted to. Edit an image file. So let's say we open this guy up here. Let's say you wanted to add or remove some files from it, your master image file, you could do that. And then the disk surface test. This will actually check the uh, CD that you have in the drive. So it's kind of loading it now, so it takes a while for this to run here. Then you could just start the test and and see what your results are, but we're not going to do that because it'll take some time. All right, so that's the uh, basic overview. You have some options up here for some settings. Like so, you could check out. And then you also have the task list from here too, same type of thing. And that's about it. So I will put a link in the description where you could download this and you could uh, use it for all kinds of CD burning and ripping tasks. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.